Hello everybody, welcome to Leech Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco, and uh, we are gonna do another Tour de France related wine today. Um, on Friday, they were going through the Alsace region of France, and uh, so today, being Monday, uh, we are going to do the now, the sorry, the 2006 Now in Zen Wasabi White uh, from Alsace, and um, this is uh, not a single varietal wine, it is a blend, and uh, it is a blend, I don't have the, the ratio, because I can't find the exact ratio for this vintage, though I could find the 2007 vintage stuff, but um, it's Sylvaner Pinot Blanc Riesling and Gewürztraminer, and uh, it should be in that order of, of uh, percentages or ratio. So, uh, let's check it out in honor of uh, Tour de France. Kind of suck that Lance is, he's in second, but, you know, he's pretty far behind. It's pretty pleasant. Oh, $9.98 at World Market, by the way. Forgot. It's got a nice color to it, you know, it's really golden. I'm getting some floral and some fruit. Um, I would say probably apples on the fruit. Maybe a little orange? Maybe a little orange too. I don't know. Probably shouldn't be getting that, but I am. So let's check it out. So, I know some of it is the name of the label and the stuff I read about it, um, but man, I really feel like I'm sitting in a Chinese restaurant. Um, it's probably just because I, I like to I like to have this and convert or just straight convert demeanor um, when I'm going to uh, my favorite chain Chinese restaurant, PF Chang's. Uh, so a little plug for you guys, but. Um, they always have consistently good food, and, and their wine list is usually pretty decent. Um, but a uh, little fun fact, I used to work in a Chinese restaurant. So, um, yeah, I mean, this really would pair really nicely with, you know, as far as Chinese food, um, or at least Americanized Chinese food, um, like a uh, General Tso's chicken or an orange peel chicken, um, you know, sesame, not the sesame, but like the spicier stuff. I mean, I could even go with orange peel beef. I love that stuff, by the way. And so, let's explain why. I'm getting a little bit of sweetness, but it's not super sweet. Um, it's a little residual sugar. Um, and sweetness really does well with spicy food. So when anyone says, says hey, I want, I'm want, i having some spicy Chinese or even Mediterranean, not Mediterranean, uh, Middle Eastern food or even Mexican food, um, that style of wine or this style of wine will a lot of times pair very well. Um, I don't get much acid. Um, the, the wine really disappears pretty quickly. So I don't have a lingering flavor, but... Um, I mean, I, I, I get pretty much on the palate what I got on the nose. A little bit of floral, a little bit of like apple type stuff. Not much acid. I mean, it disappears pretty quickly. Um, it's pleasant. It's easy drinking. Um, I'd say it's an 84. Um, you know... It, it doesn't bring a lot to the table as far as complexity. This is not for me. It doesn't. But, um, you know, I think it's it's decent, and I can see really pairing it with some Chinese food. I mean, even just like some pork fried rice or or uh, stuff like that, uh, I think it would work really well. Uh, just my experience of what I've had in the past um, and, and working 
at a Chinese restaurant a long time ago. Um, it was really called the Oriental Steakhouse, so it wasn't just Chinese. It had some other stuff, but it was mostly Chinese. Um, and the fact that I've eaten, quote, real Chinese food, because the owners, well, they're, they're straight from mainland China. Um, actually, in Taiwan. But um, excellent food, by the way. Ugh. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Um, let's uh, get, yeah, give it a score of 84. Let's kind of go over this real quick. Um, the It's imported by a company called Underdog Wine Merchants. Um, so the actual winery isn't really named. Uh, this is you know when these, there's these companies that are out there, and what they do is they find like small wineries um, that, that don't really have their own marketing, at least not in the United States, and then they market these these wines under you know catchy little names like Now and Zen. Um, I mean this 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 uh, importer has quite a few labels from all over the, all over the world. Uh, one of my favorites that I, I really enjoyed when I lived in Chicago was a, was a label called Origin, um, and uh, you found them at the. Let me make sure I get the the supermarket right. You found them at uh, the Jewel Osco, uh, the Jewel or Jewels as they say in Chicago. Don't know why they put an S on the and on the end of everything, but um, so Jewel had that. It was one of their like brands that they carried. Uh, it was really cool because you had wines from all over the world. But anyway, enough of that. Um, so like I said, the, it's Sylvaner, Pinot Blanc, Riesling, Gewürz Demeanor. Uh, those are the uh, varietals that are, are used. I actually have a little bit more time than that. Um, it is fermented in stainless steel. Um, and they, they did mention, I was able to find, you know, through going to a bunch of websites, um, that the local winemaker's name is uh, Benoit Patin. So hopefully, you know, he made this one. But some of the stuff I found was from the 2007, so I couldn't really find much on 2006 itself. All right, so uh, just want to do a quick shout out, to, uh, some shout outs. Number one, shout out to Tweet Camp SA. So uh, we had a Tweet Camp here in San Antonio at Trinity University. Oh, I should have used that water bottle, but I had a water bottle from Trinity. Um, excellent facilities, had a great time, met a ton of people. Uh, some of these people I've never met before, some of them I only know through Twitter. Um, so I had a great time, you know, uh, kudos to the organizers, uh, e-podcaster Colleen Pence, um, and uh, um, oh, now I can't remember the third, third person's name, um, and I follow her. Anyway, Colleen Pence, e-podcaster, uh, uh, they, they were very instrumental in, uh, in getting, and a bunch of other people volunteered, so I can't name everybody. Um, so great time. If you ever have a chance to go to one of these tweet camps, uh, or any type of organized thing, pod camp, bar camp, whatever. This was my first, and I plan to go to more. So, excellent time. Learned lots of great stuff. Um, Papulis from Friday's par pity party on Sat on Friday at Sales by Five. That's tomorrow's episode. Uh, I, I haven't even looked at the footage yet. I just know it's going to be a great time. Uh, we're going to do some more with them on Friday. I'll mention that on tomorrow's episode. Um, and then uh, my first contributor uh, donation was from uh, one of my... Newest best buds uh, through Twitter, uh, Jordan, and uh, really appreciate the donation. Uh, just so you know, uh, if you if you haven't really checked out the site, we're kind of gonna I'll do a little pitch man thing for a second. Got all the ads all over the place. Actually, now on both sides. Yeah, I gotta change things up. Um, so the affiliate ads, you know, if you want to buy wine or whatever or, or tea, like I got Daggio tea stuff. If you want to buy that stuff? That's cool. Um, but uh, also on the, on the left right side. There's a subscribe and donation buttons. Uh, Jordan was kind enough to give me a donation. He actually had to go do it the hard way because the donation button didn't work. So if any of you guys tried that donation button and, and you didn't decide to email me about it or Twitter me about it, try it again. It works now. If you want, don't want to do just $2 a month, that's the subscribe button. Uh, but as far as other links, tweet. Uh, tw Twitter, so Twitter me up or friend me up on Twitter, friend me up on Facebook. I'm starting almost at 100 fans on the fan page, and I'll figure out how to use that fan page eventually. But once I get, think, 100 friends, maybe I can rename it. So uh, I'm hoping to be able to do that. Uh, email me. Leave comments below if you have any questions, comments. Um, really appreciate that. And don't forget the sommelier school going on. Uh, we did start in Burgundy. Uh, this Thursday we'll do more. Uh, I think I've got enough of that. Uh, I do recommend the wine. It's ten bucks, so uh, don't expect um, uh, eighty-four. So don't expect you know greatness out of it. But at the same time, uh, it's not bad, and uh, I think it'll really work well with you know some of the spicy type food. And uh, thanks for stopping in. We'll see everybody again next time.